there's a big iron stone piece, it looks like. Oh wow, that's wild. The cottage house stood up there on the streets, sort of where those trees are. I kicked some marks in the ground in the area we'll be digging. I believe this could be the old outhouse pit. We'll get it opened up. Whoa. I think we're into something good. That is a hutch top. Wow. pieces here. Let's see. Oh, what's this? Oh, Watkins. Watkins face cream. Winona, Minnesota. Long ways from home. like Rex Oval. These things are always unembossed. Everything's kind of wedged in here. Possibly a toiletry type bottle. Some kind of gloss. Oh, I feel some embossing. C.H. Ward, leading druggist, Cherryvale, Kansas. Wow. I see embossing on these prescription bottles here. Could be good. Let's carefully dig these out so we don't damage anything. Let's see. All right, C.H. Ward, leading druggist, Cherryvale, Kansas. And I've looked at the bottom. These are actually a, a December 11th, 1894 patent from the Whittle Tatum Company. Worth noting. Another one, just underneath it. And another one. Oh, this is interesting. Wow. Mustards? Drugstore? Cherryvale. It's a Sheldon style drugstore bottle. Slick Crown Oval drugstore bottle. C.H. Ward, 1894 patent bottle, Cherryvale, Kansas. Now, let's see. Another one of these, I think they're a medicine based on a partial label we found on one of these. Could be some kind of patent medicine. C.H. 
C.H. Ward, Cherryvale, Kansas. All right, now, this one's cracked. Slick prescription bottle. Three pieces on the way out, looks like a beer. Is this colored? Let's see. Oh, wow. Yeah, some kind of colored, uh, maybe pharmaceutical. Oh, yeah. PD and Company. That's uh, Park Davis. They were a pharmaceutical product manufacturer. I believe they were in Michigan. A semi porcelain piece has a gold rim. That's interesting. Got here. Little chemical bottle. Now, to get this thing out, I think it's a beer. Could be a canning jar. Oh, wow. That's really cool. Some kind of pharmaceutical product jar, tooled top. That is wild. You see, we have just bottles falling out. It's like a little pharmaceutical product. Another chemical bottle. Be hydrogen peroxide. M. MC or MGW. I think I've dug these before and could not figure out what glass company made these, or company for that matter. Cold cream. No embossing. Oh, no embossing. Pharmacy bottle. This one has some embossing. This one's slick. Rex Oval. Ah, corner's blown out. One of those wards from Independence. Big cold cream jar. Wow. No embossing on it. Look at the size of that though. I got this cluster of items. Hold up. Um, Meller and Company Essex. It's a semi porcelain plate. I think it has a design on it. There's a floral pattern, it's hard to see. I'll flip it to show the design. Meller and Company. What was underneath it? Slick panel bottle. Chamberlain's Cough Remedy Classic. Listerine. Lambert and Company. That's the same product that's still being sold to this day. This one could be interesting. Oh, what do we got going on? Is it DeLacy's French hair tonic? Huh, never seen one of these. Another one underneath it. Oh, it's 
some kind of pickled goods container. It's broken. This just keeps going. Wow. Crown oval style prescription bottle. It's got some medicine residue in it. Plenty of pieces on the way out. Got this one. It's a paneled piece. Dr. Drake's German Croup Remedy. That's cool. I've never seen one of these. Let's see what else we got. Okay, another one of these hair tonics. medicine or liquor flask. Huh. What's this all about? Okay. Vaseline, yeah, Chesbro manufacturing. I find a lot of these. stone piece it looks like. Wow. Small pharmacy bottle, prescription bottle. Chamberlain's colic, cholera, and diarrhea remedy. Find these all across the Midwest. Looks like it has fire damage. Oh wow. Kind of ironstone piece definitely has fire damage. No maker's marks. That's wild. So as you can see we've been digging all day. We're only down a few feet. This is no doubt an outhouse pit that was used by the cottage house circa 1905. There's no end in sight. All kinds of artifacts on the way out. Three right here. Looks like some medicine bottles. Prescriptions. Yeah, this one's broken. H. Ward, Cherryvale, Kansas. Broken medicine, possibly a liquor bottle. Another Chamberlain's colic, cholera, diarrhea remedy. Or flask, a nice color. Oh. 
broken bean pot. It's a, some kind of salt glazed piece. No embossing, some little tooled top bottle. Maybe an ink or a toiletry. Oh, there we go. Dr. King's new discovery for consumption. I found these all across the Midwest. It was a Chicago company. Too bad that didn't have some embossing on it. <laughs> like that crown oval. I think it's a 16 ounce. Yeah, that's a 16 ounce, wow. I saw one with embossing. Could it be? C.H. Ward, Cherryvale, Kansas. The 1894 patent. Uh, some kind of amber piece here. Another one. Yeah, these are all just wedged in. A blank shoe fly whiskey bottle. Chamberlain's colic, cholera, diarrhea remedy. A liquor flask. Yeah, tooled top liquor flask. One of these possible medicines or liquor bottles. Some kind of goblet or chalice, machine made. green one. Oh, hey. Tool top wine bottle. This fit doesn't cease to amaze me, that's for sure. Wow. It's like maybe a drugstore bottle. Yeah, it's like a 16 ounce Rex Oval style. No maker's mark. It's got a 24 karat gold leaf edging on it. Crown oval style prescription bottle. Some kind of white wear it looks like. Oh, that's blue. Bromo Seltzer, Emerson Drug Company. I think this may be a part of a chamber pot used in connection with the boarding house, likely. and a liquor flask. Uh, 
liquor or medicine bottle. No embossing. Oh, Listerine was a popular product. That's a big one. Bigger C.H. Ward, leading druggist, Cherry Vale, Kansas, one of those 1894 patents. I don't know what this thing is. Uh, it's an interesting design. I think it's the top to a lamp, possibly. Romo Seltzer. Semi porcelain teacup. Another whiteware piece. Haley, or Hanley, Eng England, J and G Meekin. A couple plates. Uh, Meller, Etruria and Company Meller. Plain whiteware. And this is like an older one. The CCTP Company Semi Granite. Cool, it has like a griffin or something on it. All kinds of pieces. I was trying to get that one out, and all of these are kind of intertwined. I think this will be the linchpin here. What do we have? Some kind of medicine liquor bottle of some sort. Huh. Another one. Ironstone whiteware. Meekin. Hanley, England. Tool top ketchup bottle. Okay, that's what it is. Another one of those liquor medicine type bottles. Oh wow. Warner Safe Kidney and Liver Cure, that's I think that's an applied top. Old bottom. That thing's a beauty. A liquor flask with a glass stopper. Pharmaceutical. Oh, nope. Gloves are a little muddy. DeLacy's French hair tonic. Okay.
What is this thing? Okay. It's one of those, uh, I think it's a German Saxliner's Bitter Quill Hyundai Janos. It's a mineral water. It's an English mineral water bottle. Still just loaded. Another liquor flask. liquor, some kind of medicine bottle. Some kind of drugstore bottle. And another liquor flask. Okay, Ward, leading pharmacist. Cherryvale, Kansas. Oh, machine made pickled goods container. And another word. Prescription Pharmacist, Cherryvale, Kansas. I haven't found bottom yet. It's a drugstore bottle. I have some markings on the bottom. No uh, glass company. Huh. Sometimes these are embossed. Oh yeah. What is this? Sample bottle. Foley's Kidney Cure. Foley and Company, Chicago, USA. Broken extract bottle. Some broken coffee cups. Wow, so this is a mocha ware fragment. This likely predates the site by maybe 20, 30 years. That's really something. Oh, here we go. Johnson and Johnson, New Brunswick, New Jersey. I, I know what this is. I have some notes on it. I'll plug in some information. It's a ground lip. Oh, there's some more of that. It's not mocha wear. That's early though. That is beautiful. I believe we found bottom. There's a thin use layer, then clay. There's still some pieces along here. Uh, broken medicine. Uh, tooled top prescription bottle, no embossing. I think this has some embossing. Well, maybe not, it's just some dirt. It's a generic long neck panel bottle, like the medicine. This one is sticking out. Ooh, what do we have here? Okay, this is something. W.S. Hannum Druggist, Cherryvale, Kansas. Got a wreath and a mortar and pestle on it. That is really something. What is this? Broken, but that's a big old bitters bottle, I think. Wow. Amber Sanford's ink bottle. That was a popular ink back in the day. Uh, Sanford's and Carter's. Oh, that's 
definitely bottom. That is some hard packed dirt. Jewel top ketchup bottle. Looks like we have a hutch soda bottle on the way out, but got a few things around it. PD and Company, another pharmaceutical Park Davis and Company bottle. All right, another moment of truth. It has liquid in it, that's a good sign. Ah, oh, the top's broken. Another one from Cherryvale. Muchler and Wiser at Cherryvale, Kansas. Wow, that's cool anyway. Some kind of paneled piece. Oh, it's actually embossed. I saw Paris on it. Shop it. I don't even try to pronounce that. I'll find some information on it though. It's from Paris. Some kind of a screw top piece. It's a ground lip. Some kind of powder bottle, possibly. That looks like uh, another panel. Oh, oh wow! This is a Sparks Indian Cough Syrup. That's cool. That's definitely a name of the times. I think the side of the pits not oh, finished up. Got a few more though. Oh, Frostilla. I've dug these before. It's a popular product. Turn of the century. I may have a Hutchinson soda bottle, I'm not sure. Lion Manufacturing Company, New York. Just the bottom. Any company on it? Adolphus Bush Glass Manufacturing Company. Rex Oval style drugstore bottle. Another one of those liquor, maybe medicine type bottles. Clearing out this corner, and there's two pieces with embossing. Uh, another Ward, Cherryvale, Kansas, 1894 patent. And I don't know what this one is. Huh. W.T. Campbell, druggist, Cherryvale, Kansas. That's something. I I like that. That is, that's a nice piece. We're running out of daylight, so I've been rifling across the bottom, seeing if there's anything left here. One of these ground lip Johnson and Johnsons, New Brunswick, New Jersey, I believe. Liquor flask. Uh, not a ground lip. Threaded top though. Oh wow. Ward's Drug Company, prescription druggists, Cherryvale, Kansas.
blank drugstore bottle. Just about out of daylight, but I think we can finish it. Boss drugstore bottle. Cliff J. Thompson, druggist, Springfield, Missouri. Uh, Dr. S. Pitcher's Castoria. <laughs> Another ward, Cherryvale, Kansas. Blank paneled bottle, maybe a medicine or an oil. Ward, Cherryvale, Kansas. This is something. New York. Jerky's. Jerky salad dressing. I've never seen one with that logo on it. Wow. This is the final corner. It's in a very eventful pit. Oops. Maybe one piece left. Broken salad dressing bottle. And oh. Sucked the pitchfork. Looks like a little sample sized whiskey. Has some nice color, nice honey amber. The pit's all finished up. This is one for the books. 32 embossed prescription bottles. Wow. There's the soda bottles. All of them were broken. Beer bottles, liquor bottles, food bottles unembossed prescription bottles, pharmaceutical pieces, some generics, and some medicines, a lot of medicines. Oh, we'll get this filled back in.